Welcome to Chile, and this is the Extravaganza that is my channel, where we play professional games, unprofessionally, unremastered, barely uncut. So, this is Glory of Rome in our indie game series. Now, I may or may not have mentioned this before, but uh, in this series, we are looking at indie games for games that we may turn into series later on. Now, we've done, what, maybe two or three, four videos so far, and they are looking very, very promising. Um, we're liking the looks of some of them. There was definitely one I was considering turning in so far turning into a series, Chromosome Evil. And we also have this Glory of Rome, which I am led to believe is a Caesar-esque type game. Now, I did play Caesar many, many years ago, and I did enjoy it. But I haven't really played that many Caesar-type games since then. There have been a few come out recently, like Nebuchadnezzar, uh, Fertile Crescent. Um, what, what's the other one? There's another Meso not Mesopotamia. Yeah, Mesopotamia. Um, and there's a, like a South American one as well. So, um, now, before we get started here, I do have to say this. If you do find it entertaining in any way, please do hit that like or subscribe button. Disseminate it, get that message out there. All hail the Ziggy. So... Let's get started. Now we're going to play the Grand Rome. I I had a I haven't I am flying blind as always, but um, I did have a look at the menus here, and I thought we could do as asterisks, you know, kind of asterisks in Gaul, uh, or the African Kingdom, the Carthaginians and Nubians, but I thought we'd go for the, the typical Grand Rome. So. We've got a location of Armium. We have uh, bread 20, low income 40. Uh, requires the buildings to be constructed. Eight, three, two, and one. Uh, so we have to progress through, I guess. Um, as often is the case. So I do very much- Administrator, I am Quintus Velius and the Senate has tasked me with guiding you on your first assignment. To establish your settlement, you should start by constructing dwellings for your low-income citizens. These people consist of laborers and workers, who comprise the majority of the industrial backbone of your settlement. Okay, I will finish now. Um, I do get a very Caesar-esque feeling from this, except with polygraphics, and uh, if you are a regular viewer, you will know that I love my pixel and poly graphics. Now, luckily, we have some voice acting in this, um, which means I shouldn't have to read everything and lose my voice. Once you have housing sorted, citizens will arrive over time and look for jobs across the settlement. You will need to provide them opportunities for employment to keep them satisfied. The construction of several farms, mills, and a bakery should provide them both employment and also the means in which to create bread, a resource these citizens desire. Okay, nothing particularly complex. Resource generation and industry play a major role in the creation of any self-sustaining settlement. Demonstrate to the Senate that you are capable of getting this simple settlement up and running, and they will provide you with additional opportunities. Okay. At the start of your first few missions, you'll be provided a series of help dialogues such as this one that outline key concepts and ideas. These dialogues will help explain additional aspects of city building and provide insight into how to maximize your okay. development. To get citizens in your settlement, you need to build dwellings. Each type of citizen lives in a different type of dwelling. Build these dwellings and citizens will arrive over time. As dwellings receive resources and civic services, they will upgrade over time to hold even more citizens and provide more taxable income. 
Dwellings house families including adults, workers, elders, caretakers, and children. Adults are your main workforce in the city and will look for employment. Elders are the main collectors in the household and will collect resources that the dwelling needs. To thrive in your settlement citizens require employment. Citizens can work in a range of buildings, but for this scenario start by creating a wheat farm, mill and a bakery. These will create bread for the city so long as they have enough workers of each income type. You can build additional resource generating buildings such as the wheat farm to speed up your creation of refined resources. Okay, well, so what that's actually telling us there between the lines is for every mill and bakery, we probably need two wheat farms. All of your buildings need to be connected to a road to operate. Buildings will only operate if citizens can navigate to them. Optimize your placement so that your adult citizens can get to their job easily and the elders have access to businesses for resources to collect and grow the dwelling. So, localization. Each scenario has you completing a range of tasks from collecting resources, constructing certain buildings, growing your population and a wide range of other tasks from the Senate. Press the scenario. Okay, so we can go ahead and pause it here. Uh, these are all trees. Do we have any water? Do we have a map? No. Oh, so I believe we can only build in this square. So, these are what we need to complete the mission. This is our Cisterces or Dinari. Uh, finances, settings, okay, expenditure and income. Uh, there's our scenario there. There are all our resources. Population summary. These menus really are nice. They kind of come out and they, they fade on the edges here. I do like that. So. This is our build menu over here. So let us go ahead and pop in a house, two houses. Now, we want a wheat farm. So let's go ahead and put a wheat farm in there. Industrial, religion, culture, healthcare, bath houses, fine, <coughs> education. I'm looking for water actually. Worker, council, security, watchman, grand civic projects. Okay. Pantheon Imperial Palace infrastructure. A simple road. Well, let's get a simple road in to go up here. So that was a wheat farm. Livestock. Oh, storage and distribution. Food. So, deliver excess food center goods to this building. We probably want to put that here. Now, what happens if we click on here? Resources, wheat. So, let us run because we want to get another wheat farm in here. Let's get a medium income in and let's get get this in. Where was the infrastructure? Infrastructure, it was a road we wanted, administration, no. 
new, new, new. Four registry council medicum religion shrine simple road ah wells this is what I want I I remember from my from my days of playing Caesar that um, cancel that. But you do need wells for things. Okay, so I'm going to go for a very greedy type system. Uh, so now we want to put in a mill and a bakery. So that infrastructure religion. Here we go, food storage, <coughs> warehouse market, we don't want to market, artisans, potters, clothier, uh, minerals, ah, food processing. We want uh, one of those, and we want to, uh, we also want to, um, we've got two wheat farms in this here. We want a bakery. Also relatively small. So let's go back to our simple road. We got a lot of little Romans walking around here. Zen like atmosphere. How far can we zoom in? We can zoom in pretty quick, uh, pretty quick, pretty far. So let us how many? What one, two, three, four, eight, four, four, four. So we will bring it down. Here. So we have room to put in some other things. <coughs> Let's have go ahead and click on these houses. Upgrade. Uh, it doesn't have any religion. So let's go ahead and because these guys like with the religion um, monthly. Elaborate, dedicated to God of Seas, offering Neptune sea travel. Temple of Pluto. Uh, respected master of the unexpected. Fear this god. Uh, Temple of Jupiter. Uh, Tenta. Okay, so they. Okay. There we go. Gives us a little temple. Now, what about culture? Uh, three tiles, statue of the huntress. Uh, no, no, equestrian statue, eight tiles. Wow. I mean, that's pretty big, isn't it? That's, uh, I don't think we can afford that. Uh, but we could put this here. We could, and then we could put a little physician here. Okay. Um, now, open workers. Uh, I successfully collected wheat, so we need. 
one more wheat farm and two more houses. One house there and another house there and then a wheat farm. Oh, wheat farm. Stick the wheat farm. Okay, and what's this? A mill. We need a second mill. And um, we've got ooh, plus 50. Uh, okay, this is a middle income house. You want meat? You want meat? I would like a bit of meat. I like sheep herder. Oh. Could have both, can we? There's no reason why we can't have both. Uh, okay, and what was the last thing? Oh, it was another mill, wasn't it? So you wanted another mill, and the other mill can be plopped here. There we go. Now, I am wondering if we don't not put in another medium dwelling here. That would go nicely, and another simple road. Just here and here. And let's go ahead and speed that up a little bit, so that we can gain a bit of bread. Because I think we have all other requirements. The bread is being made very, very slowly, but it is being made. We got a 40 population, or 56 population in fact, and we got 55 weeks remaining. Excellent. The Senate is happy with our effect. Okay, so let's jump ahead to the next scenario. As you administer larger settlements, you will need to create a range of goods to satisfy both your local population and to provide Rome with much needed trade resources. Each industry has a set amount of goods it can hold. To hold additional resources, you'll need either a food storage yard or warehouse. Food storage yards will hold your agricultural goods, while your warehouse will be used to store industrial resources. Okay. For this settlement, the Senate has asked that you generate a large range of agricultural resources for Rome. The demand for food is great, so you will need to build a range of farms to grow the wheat, olives and grapes that have been requested. In addition, several industrial resources, such as clay and stone, have also been requested. To collect these, you will need to construct a clay mine and stone mine, respectively. These businesses will send their resources to a local warehouse for storage. Understanding the fundamentals of resource generation will be crucial in your ongoing success here, Administrator. Industrial buildings are the heart of every settlement. Your citizens will work across a range of industries to produce goods and services for the settlement and for trade with Rome. You will need to create a range of industries to collect the resources you require. Some buildings may generate resources automatically over time such as the wheat farm that creates wheat, while others require resources themselves to create a further refined trade good such as how the mill requires wheat and generates flour. Warehouses store all of your industrial resources in the settlement. Each industry can only hold so much stock, so having a warehouse allows you to keep more of these resources in your settlement. Your industries will deliver the goods to other industries first if applicable, if none can be found they will be sent off to a warehouse for storage. Other industrial workers may collect their resources from the warehouse if it's within close proximity and it has the resources they require. Food storage yards are drop-off points for your agricultural resources such as wheat, grapes and olives. When your farms create goods, their workers will deliver them to other industrial processes. However, if none can be found or they are at capacity, a food storage yard can be used to hold this stock. Residential citizens will try and collect their resources from this building if they are close to one. 
If no resource can be collected, they will travel directly to an agricultural building instead. Okay, so I believe I'm going to leave it here because I've got a very good feel for the game. Um, I have to say I'm liking it quite a lot. It is a little bit of a mixture of, well, it's basically a modern version of Caesar. Possibly slightly less complex, but actually more complex in its resource gathering and resource creation. Uh, and its ability to le level up, although the water seems to be less com complicated than Caesar, or certainly uh, the latter games of Caesar, I think it was Caesar 3 or Caesar 4. So, I've been Carbon Chili, uh, you've been the audience, and this has been Rome Uprising. Thank you. Mm -hmm.